Hey guys, I have a video here that I want to show you. Um, it's a possible fix for the Windows Live Movie Maker issue when you're trying to render a video in high definition. Uh, the problem you might get is that your computer doesn't have enough memory to render the video file, and you know that's bullcrap. Uh, the computer I have right now is Windows 7 64-bit edition with a Core i7-920. Um, I have 8 gigs of RAM and I have about two terabytes of hard drive space. Um, if you haven't tried already, try and increase your page file memory. Um, there's a tutorial around somewhere where you can do that. That may help you, but in this case it didn't help me. Um, as you can see right here in my Battlefield 2 videos, I have a lot of clips here and it does give me problems. Like here it's telling me that a file doesn't exist, but I know it does. I've played it a hundred times, sometimes it plays, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it's a real annoying issue and plenty of times I've just gotten angry but I have found something that might help. So as you can see as I'm trying to render the video there are problems and at certain points even if you have your clips over here that are all loaded up it's still gonna tell you that you don't have any clips. So there's a big annoying problem right there. So what I am gonna show you is that right over here on the task manager Movie Maker's eaten about 1.3 gigs of memory for absolutely no reason. It's not even doing anything. So, again, I'm going to open up Movie Maker and show you that right now, in its basic state, it's about 50 megabytes. And as I'm loading my project, the memory does go up to about 200 uh, megabytes. And if I scroll down here, you'll notice that as the videos begin to load up on the timeline, let me expand that. As the videos load into the timeline, Movie Maker is just eating up more and more memory. And that's pretty much the basic problem here. And this is just absurd. And by the time you go to render your video, it's going to give you a ton of problems. So as I scroll down some more, it's getting ridiculous. Over a gig now. And there's no reason for this. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, I've had better luck with Windows Movie Maker. I don't know what, why they even bothered with live. It's kind of a downgrade, if you ask me. So, one way you can fix this is on the bottom right here. You want to put that slider all the way to zoom in, so that uh, a couple clips are loaded into the view. Close Movie Maker. That's important because you want it to clear out the memory. Open it again, and you want to make your timeline small, so that uh, not too many clips are being loaded at once. So as you can see, I've only got about three clips loaded at once now. Um, and if you look on the left, the memory is really not that bad. It's still under 100 megabytes, roughly. So now I'm going to go save my movie file. And it should save in 1080p with no problems. Now this video is basically a fix for the rendering issue. If you're crashing while editing, I don't, I don't know if I could uh, help you with that yet. But as you can see, I am, I have sped up the video to show you that it is rendering just fine. And hopefully this works for you too. And Movie Maker will tend to hang a little bit at 99%, but uh, usually gets over that. And as you can see, my video is done now. So we're going to go and play it. And there it is. All 12 minutes and 34 seconds. So I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if it does help you. Because that will be nice. And again, just remember that over here on the right, as you scroll down and allow Movie Maker to load up your clips into the timeline, it's going to eat up a lot of memory. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and take care.